Welcome to a Fables a Day in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables a Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 20, Red, White, and Blue, Chapter 2 of March of the Wooden Soldiers, where blue and red meet, but not for the first time. So we get to see the Pinocchio fly and blue live together, and that Geppetto, Pinocchio's father, is still unaccounted for since the homelands were invaded. Red Riding Hood is telling of her escape from the homelands, though King Cole knows that her appearance will boost morale and approve of his, and approval ratings of his leadership would go out. Whereas Charming is spinning Cole as a tight-purse dictator and offering up glamours and transformations to those that need it. It's brilliant, really. Blue arrives at the woodlands, and into the business office to see Red, both of them thinking the other was dead. Yet she's upset, saying how she thought he loved her, but left her to die, and everything like that. You know, typical woman guilt stuff. Ha, <laughs> I only kid. But Bigby has an idea for why she's appeared. After all, in the wars he had been in, the two big world ones, it's not hard to have infiltrated their ranks with the right pushes like, say, being chased by goblins, or using guilt and human compassion to sway minds. But of course, at the end, Red races off into the night, realizing that Bigby is THE wolf. It's a madhouse, man, a madhouse! So we get a fun lesson in both politics and war in this one. But really the biggest thing, at least I enjoyed, is that we get to see some deep history on Bigby, where he's actually fought in both world wars, though we'll see much deeper history on that later on. It also shows a very interesting nature of his, where he's instinctively pulls apart her story to figure out she was a mole, though that's yet to be seen. Anyways, on to the next one.